He just learned that it doesn't interact with light, so he's asking if it doesn't interact with light, how are you using light to actually measure something? So we're measuring the properties of galaxies, and those properties are the shapes, the distances, and the motions of the galaxies. And encoded in the shapes, distances, and motions of galaxies is a lot of information about dark matter and dark energy. We can't measure dark matter and dark energy directly, but we measure those properties of the galaxies using visible and infrared light. And then we use the techniques that I talked about earlier, the gravitational lensing, the baryon acoustic oscillations, the redshift space distortions, uh, by measuring those galaxies to discern the properties of dark matter and dark energy. Side to this, Chuck, you know the electron, which we all talk about, and we, you know what the charge is, and uh, we don't know how big it is. Oh, wow. These properties that we've measured for it, and it's the properties that interact with everything else we care about. 